the big the chairman of the most successful organization in the country i'm not talking about his means okay but i'm talking about his saying yes to himself you know what happens to most of us we get some dream we say no to ourselves can't be done are give it a thought why did you get that dream and he did not get that dream because your subconscious is telling you that the potential exists the resources exist for you to achieve that dream your subconscious has seen that you can i think it is the right time to do that the subject but let me can i just quickly uh, i'm going to ask you to raise your hands everybody raise your hands yeah okay all right now i see that uh, you know i asked you to raise your hands how many hands do i see up okay okay no no keep them up keep them up is this the best you can do <laughs> is this the best you can do sir okay 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 excellent 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 is that the best you can do careful be careful okay all right you can come back down sit down now what was this hands no listen listen when i say raise your hands okay most people tend to do this okay why do they do this because normally raise your hands comes when i ask you people how many would like tea and how many would like coffee right so to count the numbers so what do we tend to do we we tend to do just enough yes we tend to do just enough to be visible to the person who is counting okay now this is my performance this is my potential so when i kept jogging you is this the best you can do is this the best you can do is this the best you can do your performance kept going up why because you are capable of doing more yes and this is how before we demand it from others let us demand it from ourselves see i'll tell you we hanker after money today everybody gives every organization gives money and gives decent money okay yet at the end of the day we are not always happy why because we don't have job satisfaction the question i want to ask you is if i am not performing at this level which i know that i am capable of i am capable of standing on the chair i am capable of standing on the table my team is capable of picking me up and raising me really high if i am not performing at that level how can i have job satisfaction see my boss may not know that i can perform at this level but i know and my knowledge makes all the difference i have to get a 100 out of 100 in my own eyes then job satisfaction happens so how much are you demanding from yourself and this is a very personal thing the whole life goes away without realizing you know that i have not really done my very best life flies ma'am you have a uh okay so if everyone can close their eyes and visualize your most favorite food okay mm. uh and now visualize uh, visualize yourself eating it visualize the container and the quantity and it's not like you have a limited stomach you have unlimited stomach okay can we please open our eyes can a few people give me responses what did you visualize fish you like how how much fish did you eat and, and or how much fish did you visualize and 
100 grams and in what kind of container? Small bowl, okay, your sir? Biryani, half a plate, gobi manchurian, small bowl. How much? Only half plate, okay. 10 inch size. <laughs> I am diabetic too. <laughs> Yourself? Cut fruits and ice cream, how much? Okay. Biryani is the, yes, is the, is the common the, thread. I hope there is biryani at lunch. <laughs> You finished the whole vessel, great. Two of them. Okay. Mysore Park factory. Yes. You have seen the Mysore Park. <laughs> you were in the factory. Okay. <laughs> How much of it did you eat? <laughs> that is his Kalpana, don't worry. <laughs> we will not ask you which Kalpana it was. Exactly. <laughs> Mr. Raghuraj said, said about the other wife, right? <laughs> Okay, great. And how much? Around uh, 400 grams of tea. Okay. I was eating puri uh, paniya. Do you know this? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yes, there's yes, small. Yes, yes. <coughs> how many? Maybe 15 or so. 15 or so. All right. So, uh, ev everybody is kind of visualized uh, a container, a quantity, okay, other than two of you. Right? Why did you visualize a container and a quantity? What was what was I asking you to do? With a recorded replay. Because that's how it's made in the recorded replay of what you see. It's the recorded replay of what you see. It's your, it's your visualization of you're limiting, right? Why did you not see that? Exactly, because I did mention you have unlimited capacity, right? And yet, there was a limitation. Who set that limitation for you? Yourself. You yourself, right? I mean, why weren't you jumping in and out of the biryani eating it? Exactly. I mean, that is the child, or if I ask in a room full of children, that is the kind of response you will get. The kind of response you will get is, I was in a factory and it kept oozing out or it was endless, right? These are visualizations that allow us to achieve the endless because otherwise we get stuck. These limiting beliefs are created by us somewhere because we, there is, we, we engineer these responses. Yeah, no, but so that's the thing, right? But the stomach, he also heard the same instruction, he also heard the same instruction, yet they were able to go beyond, right, and see something else. Because basically when you say imagine, what is wrong in imagining? Exactly. exactly, what is wrong in imagining? Why not imagine So abundance? now close your eyes, all of you, and imagine, okay? Now imagine yourself. And, and, and imagine that there is un limitless, 
okay and why not imagine containers which are why even a container why so imagine again all of you okay and see if something changes go ahead close your eyes right? go ahead and close your eyes okay what about now what were you able to visualize fish more than 100 you still put a number <laughs> an ocean full of fish ocean full of fish right all yours what about yourself <laughs> right right so see that so you are opening it just you are opening it a, a little more right anybody was able to go totally beyond what you kind of limits <laughs> right. So, you see the minute you allow, see some people are still not able to even allow themselves. When I am saying unlimited, somehow there is a limit, somehow there is a barrier. I think we are asking the wrong question, Shama. <laughs> okay. All you guys, okay. Imagine, women. imagine yourself being not married. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you imagine also the ladies imagine themselves not married. Okay. Now imagine yourself getting married to anybody of your choice. <laughs> right? Any one of your choice. I mean, you are you are 20 years old. You are not married. Okay, and you want to marry, and the person you want to marry is also unmarried. <laughs> if you wish. <laughs> Uh, and willing to marry you. <laughs> yes, of course. I mean, any woman will say yes to you. Chalo. <laughs> decided. It's fifty percent decided. <laughs> See, now they understand it much better. <laughs> 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 but overall, so that's that's what it is. We even despite so this is how much deep inside ourselves we deny ourselves, right? Now when we deny ourselves so much, right? How can we get beyond what what we can see? And a leadership journey is getting beyond there, right? Getting into the unknown. Getting into somewhere Take, where you are not known. Taking my operation where nobody has ever taken it. Exactly. Then I am a leader. If I am going to keep doing the things that have always been done and grow at the Hindu rate of growth, which is 3 percent, 5 percent, how am I a leader? So, this visualization is uh, extremely important, having that vision is extremely important. That sets apart the leader. Now, in goal setting, we ask ourselves three questions. One is, what do I want? One. Two, what can be achieved? Because after all, I may want the moon, but currently I am on the ground, I have no rockets, I have no technology, you know, ISRO. I have nothing, people are denying me technology. So, what can be achieved? That does not mean I am giving up going on the moon. That does not mean I am giving up going on Mars. But what can be achieved next year? And the third is what must be achieved? Which means that I never lose money. All my overheads are taken care of, all my expenses are taken care of there is a little bit left over, that is the lower limit. That this much I must achieve because it is survival money. So, the answers to these three questions need to be merged for a practical goal to arrive for next year, to arrive at for the next year. Okay? 
but the visualization is what drives us that is the direction in which we are going. Questions, thoughts? Yes, I have. Yes, please, sir. I think sometimes fate, you know, fate takes you where you need to go. I, I, yeah. And he died. A sense of purpose. He was teaching. Yeah. Yeah. But see, the thing also is about, you see, the leadership vision does not necessarily have to be a type of or tied to money. Okay. His leadership vision was tied to a purpose. Exactly, right. So, it does not have to be tied to money or position. It can be tied to a purpose and that purpose achieved Gandhiji, right. He fought for free, I mean he, you know, fought non-violently and whatever for, for all his ideals without using, I mean, without using violence, but and without also ever getting uh, to become a political leader, right. So, it does not have to and yet today, who is recognized, who is remembered? APG with utmost respect, right, with utmost, I mean all of us would bow down to a person like that, there is no question, all of us would bow down to certain people, because these are selfless ideals. Mother Teresa right? for that example. So, these are also purposes. Mother Teresa, for instance, served, you know, was a very lonely human being. I do not know if you know about it. There is a beautiful documentary on her life and it talks about her loneliness. She said that I feel abandoned by God because I see all this distress on the streets, right. She was an intensely lonely person, but in the pursuit of service, that was the dedication of her leadership truly a leader in her, in her sphere of life. So, there is a different definition. It is not necessarily tied to a particular type of material achievement. It can be a non-material achievement. You know, some of us, uh, I mean, all of us are sitting here absorbing all this information and the voice that is coming.